Back in the first half, Mike McDonald seems to be okay now. And all of a sudden, the USA have stolen the initiative, and uh, here we go. Celeste Sika, one against one, and uh, Jason Robinson hurtling back, but it's picked up by the USA scrum half, Chad Erskine, but they'll have to come back. Uh, moments of glory. <laughs> well, they look very threatening there. Salesi Seeker didn't quite have the pace to go all the way, but uh, he certainly caused England defence a few problems. Great offload there, well taken by Herkus. He's and a big man, this fella, isn't he? Oh, he is. It'll take a wee bit of time to uh, get going. But great defensive play by Jason Robinson because he went and slapped the ball down and, of course, forced the knock on. It was all started on the other side of the pitch there by Nguenya. He certainly has got legs on. This is another American player who sounds as though he shouldn't be playing for the USA. But uh, that try, obviously not given. Much of the uh, disgust there of Pete Thorburn and his team. Well, well I think he sees the video. He'll, uh, he'll appreciate that there's no way that was ever going to be given a try. So, here we go. Sean Perry for England. Joe Worsley on this side. Flanker for England, big push by Delalio and the rest. Delalio just running across the pitch there, not really gaining any ground. Ollie Barkley though, downfield. We're coming up towards uh, 47 minutes played altogether, so seven minutes into this second half. Mark Reagan just uh, applauding his players, asking for the extra yard. That's much better by Barkley, much more controlled clearance 50 well, yards or so on it well look with guys like Simon Shaw and Ben Kay in the uh, lineup they must know they can attack any throw in and any options that the Americans throw at them here we go Kay goes up look at that great jump by England now they've got momentum but if they leave it too long of course the American defense will get organized Delalio just trying to Pull his team round, but he can't push in that position there. But what about this? Here goes Sheridan. Little dummy from the prop forward. He's a massive man. And uh, certainly it took more than just Lewis Stample in there to stop him. Shaw couldn't quite get the pass away. He had Tom Reese waiting on the outside, or Mark Reagan rather. So not forward. England will get the put in. Well, that was much better by England. And... Uh... You know, came from a catch and drive at the line out, and then it's this big fella in space took on Salesi Seeker, and then quick ball, and that's been the difference. Now I think Shaw should have given given that a little bit earlier because I don't think there was anyone outside him. That was Mike Herkus, the American captain, who got his hands on that one. But surely this is a great attacking position now for the World Cup champions from 2003. Certainly good. Great, in fact. See Andrew Sheridan stretch his legs there. He's like a dumper truck. Almost impossible to stop. And the Americans trying to spoil there. And uh, England get a free kick. Away we go with Reese. Reese going for the line. Reese driven over the line. That's got to be a try. So this is Mr. Kaplan looking for a little bit of direction there from uh, Stuart Dickinson, the fourth official. That's got to be a try for the England flank forward Tom Rees of Wasps and England. Surely has got one. Well, I think he's just trying to discover whether there was an American hand underneath which may have held it up or whether he actually grounded it. It's hard to see from that. I'd give it. Uh, you've got to see the ball being grounded. Yeah. There's all sorts of angles, of course. We haven't seen the reverse angle yet. That may help. Uh, we still can't see it. Uh, so the fourth official will still not be convinced because he hasn't seen the ball grounded. Well, Even there with the body of uh, Mike Herkus behind it. That's interesting. From that angle, you see Mike Herkus putting his ball, hand on the ball almost in the position that well it's a try maybe they saw an angle that we didn't but uh, that is a try New 
Huge of applause from Johnny Wilkinson, along with uh, some of the other guys that aren't playing for England here. We, of course, have some great players over there. Steve Borthwick, Nick Easter, Perry Freshwater, Andy Gamasil, of course, and uh, Wilkinson himself. So that score by Tom Rees takes the score on to 26. Can Ollie Barkley get the extra two? Another fine kick from the outside half. Been absolutely rock solid today. Well, the ten minutes either side of uh, half time are absolutely critical. Here's the try from yet another angle. You know, Tom Reese is not a big man either, but uh, he drove over so, so fast there. Just caught everybody uh, off guard. There we have it, England 28, the United States 3. 20 minutes to go in this uh, first match of Group A. Worsley on to Ollie Barkley. It's a long, long kick from the outside half, but uh, the fullback, Chris Wiles, left footed, downfield, straight into the arms of Mark Queto. There's a beautiful pass there. Out to the midfield and wonderful space for England to put pressure on the USA. Well, you see, that's what they should have been doing in the first 20 or 30 minutes. Just kick into the corners, put the pressure on, and let the USA play from 70 yards away from the England try line. Now, it's a lovely kick by Barclays. Reminiscent of Wilkinson, those big diagonal wiper kicks that go into the corner. And as you say, they've got a great line-out, which they can now try and attack the USA line-out, see if they can get a steal. Well, it must be very confusing being Owen Lentz here because he must be thinking, well, no matter where I throw it, uh, one of the England players is going to pop up and steal it as we see an American substitution. That is uh, Alec Parker. And actually, no, I, I, Alec Parker was playing before. That's uh, number 16, Blake Burdett. The Americans trying to reorganise a little bit. Robbie, is there any sign of uh, any England uh, substitute? Can't quite see from here. Thank you. There's uh, Valenisi Malifa from American Samoa. He's won three caps for his country. To the gap, 25 points. Reagan way over the back. That was a misunderstanding. It was either a poor throw or the message didn't get through to the England hooker. The Americans have got a chance there. That almost was a touch forward. And Paul Emmerich there trying to stay on his feet. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Losing ground there onto the prop forward who really made no headway for the USA. But this is one of the best periods of possession they've had almost in the whole game. Very neat and tidy there by Emmerich. But England have stolen it. Delario, good hands. Back inside. No momentum going forward though. And that was Messi. Beautifully through the legs there by Cueto. And uh, on to Jamie Noon. But this uh, is not the right result as far as England were concerned. Stolen once again by Emmerich for the USA. A little show and go there, but it came to nothing. Certainly Chad Erskine desperately trying to get that ball away quickly. The chip forward there by the American number 10. And eventually was picked up by Mike Mangan. Giant lock, lock forward for the USA. Again, the chip forward from Mike Perkis. Now, what can England do from here? Delalio wants to go on his own. Hasn't got the support, though. Just taking their time. My cat it was. He tidied up there. And here we go, Worsley. This is better from England. Josh Lucy. One support. Gets it eventually to Perry. 
and uh, Phil Vickery was outside him but uh, decided to go himself Delalio in support trying to roll them over now here go England on this left hand side oh, dear me well, Robinson was uh, chasing after the ball but that all seemed to static from England well it was not a classic case they should have moved the ball left they had men out wide plenty of people there and yet it all got slowed down and uh, well here's a knock on there the replacement relief that I think knocked it on in view of the experience that Josh Lucy has I'm surprised that uh, you know he did that he's actually got to stand up and stay strong and wait for players to come in around him and then uh, England can move the ball forward well Henry Bloomfield is on the number eight and uh, Inaka Basuri another uh, foreign import who's actually born in Mexico and away England go once more an opportunity here they'll chip forward and the chase is on but uh, that was almost uh, a five pointer for England Josh Lucy prefers to keep it in the hands but it was a very very good chase there by the American substitute and that was a bit messy wasn't it Do England look like world champions to you, David? Well, not on the basis of this performance. I think, uh, you know, we've seen Australia come on to their game. We've seen New Zealand absolutely tear apart Italy. And uh, you'd have to say that, um, I think, on the basis of current World Cup performances, either of those sides would beat England. Well, that actually came off the, uh, the foot there of Jason Robinson. So the USA will have the throw in here but as uh, they well know England will attack the throw in as Mark Cueto yeah that's uh, going to be very interesting I much uh, would have preferred uh, Matthew Tate to have come on I think he's a more creative player than Andy Farrell but uh, interesting that Richards should come on. Perry certainly had a very, very good game. England desperate just for a bit of quality possession here. And being frustrated by uh, the bravado, if you like, of Paul Emmerich and the rest of his American side. That will go into touch and that presumably, David, will be a chance for England to make those substitutions. And interesting to see what sort of role they're going to use Andy Farrell in. Well, he's a playmaker, really, Farrell, isn't he? And he's, um, it was interesting, I think, on his debut for England against Scotland last year in the RBS Six Nations, he came in as first receiver, not off uh, first set, first base play, but off rock and roll. And really controlled the game well. Oh, dear me. It was almost a huge mistake there by the Americans, but away they come. Decisive running. Need support. Good tackle coming in there from Jamie Noon. And lots of the American forwards there just slow to arrive, but it was an England hand that the referee saw. And so England will be penalised. There's the man who uh, made that, Jamie Noon. Tom Reese going in there, couldn't quite catch his man, could he? It was a great little breakout. Well, a fantastic pace from the fellow who spent uh, 10 minutes on the Sinbin, Nasikia. He was looking looking around him, but should have just made a decision slightly earlier, I think. He had options both inside and out. He yeah, seemed to have all the time in the world, looking right and looking left as the captain. And I think is uh, Mike McDonald, this giant prop forward for the... Uh, Now, England trying to attack, they decide not to. They just try and drive the USA outside of the 22. But uh, referee there saying it wasn't straight. So England preferring to take the scrummage. 
Number 16 on this side for the USA, Lake Burdett. And he's playing in his sixth international. He's going to find it hard against uh, Andrew Sheridan. There's a guy with a few muscles. 